In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to data bend images using the online data bending tool Photomosh. First, you want to go to a browser. I'm using Firefox. And open the browser and then go to photomosh.com. When you open photomosh.com, this is the first screen that you'll see. And you have a couple of different options that you could decide on. You can use your webcam and capture an image of something live while data bending it, or you can load a file and data bend an existing file. So first I'm going to load a file and data bend a, an existing file. So I'm going to click the button that says load file. Then I'm going to click the button that says choose file, or as an alternative, you can drag a file and drop it into this drop file here zone. I'm clicking choose file, which opens up a dialog box that lets me navigate to the file that I want to data bend. I have this file that's a watercolor that I did of myself. So I'm going to open that file. That takes you to another view that shows you the file that you opened in the middle, gives you three format options in the top left hand corner. If you want to make a still image, which we'll do first, you're going to use the JPEG option. On the right hand side, you're going to have your different data bending tools. Basically, you're going to have to experiment with them to figure them out. I'll just show you a few. So for example, let's say that I want to slice this. I can go to the slice option, turn the slice option on, and then use the inputs to change the effect. Maybe I'll also want this to be solarized. So I can go down to the solarize option, hit the down arrow to open up its options, click the on button, to turn solarization on and then play with the inputs for solarization. I actually don't like that effect, so I'm going to click the on button again, which will turn it off. You can also minimize that tool by hitting the arrow again, which will minimize it, making your work area more tidy. Maybe on this one, I decide that I want to do an RGB shift instead. So I can turn the RB, RGB shift option on and then play with the inputs. Once you get what you like, you can add as many of the data bending effects as you want. You now want to save this file. So in the middle of the bottom of your screen, you have a mosh button and a save button. The MOSH button will randomly data bend the file, just randomly selecting different options. Um, so if you don't want to make choices and you just want to throw a monkey wrench into your process, you can try this MOSH button. The save button is what we're looking for. So you're going to hit save. That's going to ask you whether to open it or to save the file. I'm picking save file and I'm going to hit OK and that's going to save that in my downloads folder. We'll go and get that out of the downloads folder in a little while. Let's go back up to the three modes in the top left hand corner. The second mode is GIF. GIF will let you record a short GIF and this was the option that in class I recommended but OpenShot, the video editing software that we're using, doesn't import GIFs effectively. So instead of using the GIF format, let's use the WebM format. So let's go to the third option. Click the WebM format, come to the right hand side to your effects and apply whatever effects you want. So maybe I'll turn the slices off and I'll turn the RGB shift off and instead I'll do, um, let's minimize those by clicking the arrows. And instead maybe I'll do melt and edges. Ch 
change my inputs to get the effect that I want. Uh, maybe I also want to do bad TV, which will make it look like it rolls, like a TV whose vertical hold is messed up. So once you get what you want to record that, down at the bottom of the screen there's a record button right next to the mosh button. And basically it's going to record five seconds of the animation. So hit the record button, you'll see a red line telling you that it's recording, and then it will ask you to save it. I'm going to save the file and hit OK. Now where does it save those? I'm going to minimize this for a second and go to my download folder. and it saved those to into the download folder. So I'm going to drag them from the download folder into the project folder that we're using for the project. So let me go ahead and open up the project folder first. So I called the project folder OpenShot Project. So let's go back to the download folder. I'm going to drag the JPEG image into my project folder. Then I'm going to go back to the download folder and I'm going to drag that, that web file into the project folder. Now if you want to rename these, you can. It's going to name them moshed uh, you know, with the date. Um, so you can feel free to, to rename those if you like. Let's also show you how to use the webcam. So let me go back to the web browser, so back to Firefox. I'm going to reload um, the Photomosh site by just refreshing my browser. And instead of loading a file, which we did in the first example, you can use your webcam. <coughs> Excuse me. So click the Use Webcam function. That's going to give you a dialog box asking you to allow Photomosh to use your webcam, so hit allow. That'll turn on your webcam and you should see yourself live. So again, you can save this as a still by using the JPEG option, or you can save it as a video by using the WebM option. I'm going to do the WebM option. So maybe I want to make myself have a line of cut effect. So you can adjust the settings for that. And maybe I also want this to shake. So I'll set some shake. Let's make it a little less shake. Once you get what you like, you can add as many effects as you want, then hit the record button. And because this is live, it's gonna capture whatever movement you make. It's going to capture six seconds worth of video, uh, five or six seconds and then it's going to open up a dialog box asking you to save it and i'm going to hit ok on the save if i minimize my browser again i can open up my project folder again which in my case i called it open shop project and then go to my download folder and drag that into my project folder you're going to want to put everything in your project folder before bringing it into open shop and so that concludes how to use Photomosh to make your data event images and videos that you're going to use for your video project.